what to choose. <laughs> Hi, sorry I'm a little silly. Um, so I wanted to go over some period alternatives. I'm very excited to show Knicker Nappies, which is a cloth menstrual pad. I know what you must be thinking, gross, but if you're gonna cloth diaper, you might as well consider using the alternatives. Um, this is the Instead Cup, which I've been using to try to conceive. I'm gonna show you guys too, because a lot of people are scared. And this is a traditional overnight maxi pad, which I have laying around, because I just got these. And I'm not a big fan of tampons. So, here we go. I have a pair of underroos. And they're booty shorts. And they say gorgeous on them because when you're on your period, you don't feel like that. So you gotta remind yourself, you too can be gorgeous. So first of all, I wanna show you the knicker nappies versus the overnight protection. Hmm. Well, it is up here a little bit thicker. However, the cool thing about these knicker nappies is that like cloth diapers, they have Two layers, of two layers of absorbency. So for your light days, you can have a light one, and then it's just as thin. See? For your heavier flow, you can just use the larger one, or use the combination of the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap this together. I'm gonna snap it on my underroo so you can see how it works. You take your underroo, slap it on there. And I decided to do this video because not that many people are talking about alternatives of this. I and mean, it's like, you're a woman, so be quiet. And I'm like, I'm a woman, hear me roar. <laughs> Look at my art alternatives. All right, great. So. Let's not intimidate you with the heavy flow first. They seem rather absorbent. Now I got that organic bamboo, so that bamboo is supposed to absorb a lot. And the cool thing is you can just buy some extra ones of these. And then just get like a tiny little, you know, wet bag for yourself. But look at that. It's rather thin. It's very soft too. Well, let's not let that happen now. <laughs> so there's the knicker nappy. That's what it looks like in the back side. So it's a nice alternative. I mean, again, if you're going to be doing diaper laundry anyway, and I'm sure these aren't going to be stain free, but there are enzyme cleaners. Um, that you can also use to minimize any kind of staining. Again, though, it's a wide, much wiser decision rather than using the good old-fashioned maxi pad, which who knows how long it takes. And plus, it has that um, the same stuff that diapers have. You know, you don't want those chemicals on your body. You know, a lot softer. You know, a lot cleaner and less of a hassle. Now, one thing that's not 100% bio-friendly, but it is another alternative, and it's good for TTC. Um, and don't be scared of it. People always say, oh, the stud cup, you have to be, you know, super goosey-loosey for it. <sighs> you don't. Because if you look at the way anatomy is, it is um, your pubic bone sits like here, and your cervix is over here, and your vagina canal is here. So essentially you take this sucker out and you fold it and that's just about as thick and long as a tampon applicator. Actually it's a lot thinner. If you do it this way, a tampon applicator is a lot thinner than a tampon. And you stick it in and it goes underneath and then it clamps behind the pubic bone and that's where it cups underneath your cervix. So if we're trying to conceive, you can either have them deposit into this, or right after you guys have intercourse, you could just slide it in. Now, here's the thing. For menstruation, you could take it out in the shower. A lot of people say, oh, it's so messy and gross. These can be in you for 12 hours. Got that? 12 hours. So, take it out when you're in the shower. That way, the mess is gone, because you're 
in there rinsing out anyway. So you take it out in the shower and all you gotta do is hook your finger underneath here and pull it out. It's not scary, believe me, it's not scary. You know, you need to know your anatomy. It won't get lost in there because your cervix is closed and, it, and then your vagina is only about five, four to five inches long anyway. So people say, oh, it's scary or oh, it's super messy. Don't change it out every few hours. Do the 12. But for semen, however, on the Mayo Clinic website, it says that um, semen can actually, when it's dying, um, which a lot of it dies in the beginning, especially in the vagina, it will create a bad environment for the living sperm. So, essentially, I hear women saying, oh, they're TTCing and they're keeping the semen in there for 12 hours. I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend that if they're dying, that you wait um, for maybe about three, four hours tops. So after your intercourse, maybe have it chill out with you for three or four hours so that way you're not um, keeping the dead sperm in there because you don't want the dead sperm in there. But you want as much as you can to flow up to your cervix. So recommendation per, you know, I'm a science major, so I, I know how things typically work. So you don't want to have those... Um, enzymes from the dead sperm getting into the healthy sperm creating an environment that's hostile for the sperm because it's all about the sperm getting to where it needs to go so those are my period alternatives the knicker nappy and the instead cup and the instead cup is different than the diva cup because the diva cup is actually a cup that sits in your vaginal canal this sits underneath your cervix and collects the fluid um, this is a lot more comfortable. So if they can make a permanent one like this um, instead of the Diva Cup, because for me, um, I hate tampons because of the fact that um, I could feel it all the time. Mm, I just, I don't like the feel. This, I don't feel anything. I first wore this to visit my best friend in San Francisco, and I walked and I hiked for like three days. That's all we did. I took my pedometer and it was like 20 miles almost a day. So it lasted that. So, it's fine. The knicker nappy, I haven't used it yet, and I really hope that I'm pregnant this month so I don't have to find out for nine months. Hmm? Baby dust to you, baby dust to me. Gotta go.